4 News Health Alert. And hundreds of thousands of women had breast augmentation surgery last year. The large majority go on with their lives without any issues, but a small few experience side effects. Some even say they've gotten sick because of their implants. CBS 4's Lauren Pastrana spoke with one such woman who's now on a mission to educate others. I am a perfectionist. I wanted the perfect body. Perfection. It's an impossible goal. But every year, millions of men and women try to get one step closer to that elusive 10, sometimes opting for plastic surgery. I was working out. I felt really good in every aspect. Like, I just felt like I was fit, but I was flat. Terry Diaz took the plunge in 2006 and decided to have a breast augmentation. She says she did extensive research on the doctor, but didn't dig too deep on potential side effects because she assumed the often performed procedure was safe. In fact, that same year, the American Society of Plastic Surgeons says 329,000 people had breast augmentation surgery. It was being done every day. It was like buying a new car, you know, that excitement of something really new and fun. But that shiny new car feeling wore off quickly. About six months after the surgery, Terry says she started feeling sick. I started getting migraines um, and I had chronic fatigue, but I related it to the business that I had just started. So I didn't connect that that would be because of my implant. Years went by and Terry didn't get better. She visited doctor after doctor, but nothing brought relief. I couldn't walk very much. My energy had just dropped to nothing. So it was miserable. It was a, it was absolutely horrible. I didn't feel like I was functioning anymore or a there were really dark, dark times. It wasn't until a friend sent her an article about a woman with similar symptoms that Terry even considered the breast augmentation may have been a factor. It just clicked like, oh, it could be my implants. Oh my God, and I cried. Terry calls what she has experienced breast implant illness. And as evidenced by one Facebook support group, thousands of women say they have or had the same thing. These are real patients, real symptoms, and whatever they need, we need to dedicate ourselves to fix them. Dr. Pat Pasmino of Miami Aesthetic did not treat Terry. He says he's never seen a case of breast implant illness in his patients, but he's among a growing group of doctors willing to take a closer look. I absolutely believe the women that they uh, are having those symptoms, but I don't know if there's an actual link to what they're what they're experiencing and the breast implants. I think more research needs to be done. Research has shown, however, a link between breast implants and a rare form of cancer, breast implant associated anaplastic large cell lymphoma. An FDA report published last year revealed 359 reported cases and nine deaths. The New York Times profiled a breast cancer survivor who got the rare lymphoma, and doctors say the implants used to reconstruct her chest were to blame. This cancer has never existed before. It was just recently described. And the treatment for that is to remove the breast implant and the tissue called, that we call the capsule around the breast implant. Terry also opted to remove her implants. She had surgery in December 2016, and slowly but surely, she says she started feeling better. Progressively started running back up those stairs, exercising, hiking, um, almost 90% back to like who I was before implants. Terry believes hers is a cautionary tale, not to deter people from getting implants altogether, but to educate them of another potential risk. I'm not here to condone or condemn implants. I'm explaining what happened to me and also to let people know that if it is happening to you, let there be an awareness that it could be your implants. There's hope. There is healing um, that you do not have to stay sick forever. Terry's own Facebook support group for Floridians dealing with breast implant illness now includes more than 1,000 people. The members exchange stories and doctor recommendations, but mainly serve to remind each other that they are not alone. Lauren Pastrana, CBS 4 News, tonight.